Sorry, first of all, yeah. uh, you know, Friday is the day that they schedule all the meetings, some here, some outside. Right. Yeah. So that today, uh, unfortunately, two meetings, one in the school, like grade 12, 11 yeah. students wanted to talk to me about politics and what they can do to get involved. Yeah. So that was started at 9 o'clock. Then a couple of lawyers wants to talk to us about uh, the temporary problem. So issue, temporary foreign workers okay. and the issues that they are facing. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Lots there till issues. 11, yeah. luckily yeah. they uh, oh. were made, so I yeah. said, <laughs> so, I know what I'm saying. I don't want to take it out. Uh, we got a video of it this time. Okay, first of all, I request to everybody, Give respect and take respect. Yes. Very yes, yes, yes. tenderly talk. Absolutely. Display your problems. And uh, I request to Harishab, they will try to solve them. So it is our uh, uh, leader, and we must support him. And we must uh, ask uh, what are the problems. Everybody knows what they, uh, this WCB is doing. I uh, already requested them, and they will uh, give you the each and every uh, what they are doing for that one. I and you give the, your points and your troubles. And I request you, if anybody is playing with the, uh, your worker, that should be suspended or dismissed from the service. This is our request. Okay. Yes, sir. Carry on. One quick thing. I, I believe probably every person here voted NDP. Yes. 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 And, and why did we vote for NDP? Yes. Yes. Because we, we, vo we voted for change. Yes. 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 Of election back, you know, I... Personally, door to door, I have to knock uh, the door and then he knows that. So maybe I could start. Uh, for um, those who don't speak Punjabi, uh, and maybe I'll speak English, maybe? Is that okay? I think, I think, I think everybody in the room... Don't understand, then we will watch Punjabi. No, it's okay. okay. So, I think everybody speaks okay, English. Okay, so nobody here speaks English. English. You can ask. Uh, just to open and then, then I want to listen more because that's what I want to do right now. I'm in a, in a listening tour actually uh, so that we can make the right changes. I have dealt with WorkSafe almost all of my working life. First as a worker and then a worker representative with my union. And I have seen the problems that are caused for the injured workers and actually for the workers as far as the prevention of injuries are concerned at workplaces, okay? Now, for 16 years, I've been yelling at them that they haven't done it right. They have ignored uh, the workers to first place, and then the injured workers didn't get their respect and dignity that they deserve. And I have uh, this one thing always in my mind, the 1913, the great compromise that was made. That the workers gave up their right to sue, but the employer agreed on their side of the contract to look after workers if they are injured with their treatment and with a wages. So now I feel, I feel and I agree with many of you who have sat down with me over the years, the worker that we represented. The workers feel that their side of the contract isn't being lived up to. We still can't sue the employer, so they are fine with their side of the contract. Yeah. So what do we need to do? There are two pieces. I think Joanne, we talked about this. Two pieces. Okay, now you have power, right? No, 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 in the work safe DC comes in. Okay? So the act is designed by the government, and those are the people that work safe will work there, they apply them, and then they develop policies out of the act and regulations out of the act. Policies and regulations can be changed by them without the act. 
but they still have to stay within the act. Act has to be changed in the legislation, mm -hmm. through legislation, in the, in the legislature. Mm -hmm. So where we are at now, as yeah, you said, that we're in power. Yeah. We, you know, said, you know, we yelled at them all my life how bad they were. Mm -hmm. We are making changes. And I've said to many of you, act will be changed. I'm putting a review in place. Mm -hmm. And then we have to start with the leadership. Start at the top, is start with me. I've got this attitude that the, we need to make workplaces the safest workplace regime in the country. And we can do that through preventative measures, strong ones, and strong enforcement regimes. Then those who get injured, that they are treated with respect and dignity. They treat as humans, not as numbers. So that's going to start with the leadership right here. And I have made that commitment that I'm going to do that. Legislation changes, we only have two windows. One was this one, which they delayed handing the government over to us. We have been there only about 13 weeks now. Okay? So it takes time to develop the legislation. Also, we need to uh, you know, put a right person to review the act. It's a very complex, we all know that. And the policies and, the, and then the regulation that they develop out of that. The right person in there who will be looking at considering the stories that I'm hearing and they are hearing and the review panel will be hearing. You know, her stories from each one of you. Those are the stories that I need to take it to them and say, look at this, this is how injured people are treated. Okay? Starting at the leadership. Those who don't want to follow our instruction won't be there. I can guarantee you that right now. That's true. Okay? So, so those two pieces I am committed to do. I'm going to change them. Review is coming, and the leadership I'm looking at right now. So you're going to request a review into WorkSafe? Yes. The Perfect. entire thing. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, I, have a <coughs> question. I, have, I have a question. I know you promised with us that you can do it later, change mm -hmm. it later, anything we have in mind. But whatever they are provoking is now, mm -hmm. they are breaking that one too. I went twice suicidal. I've been injured since seven years ago, and they are not recognized on that. Every time, it's their protocol is like a case manager have to be returned your call within 20 to 48 hours. But in one year, when my case manager never called me back, I wrote the letter. My rapidant wrote the letter, and still never back to us. When went to like you know. Uh, other like sources like uh, going to their supervisor like uh, they wrote to them they never came came back to me it's since like three years now they're not calling us my case man every time then we go up they write the letter they change my case manager then next case manager they say they are on holiday how many times they they're supposed to go on a holiday like vacation pay? Yeah. Vacation? not acceptable yeah, that, not that's my like, I, I how, agree. how are I going to bait for my whole life for WCV? My family room, my kids are like activities yeah. room, everything my like, yeah. you know, like. Same like, here, we've lost our family home in 25 Everybody, years, everything. forced to sell it because I was told I couldn't get welfare because I own a house, sell your house. WorkSafe crippled me, not my work injury, WorkSafe negligent, the caseworker seeking bonuses. Disabled me, cut me off without an income since 2010. Now my wife and I have lost our home and everything we own. We've gone days without eating because we had no money. We went to the food bank and got rotten food every other Thursday for the last seven years. That's why, like I said, um... you know what it's like when you look forward to dying? It's the next step beside suicide. I, I wrote the suicide poem because I know there's many victims of suicide. It's one of WorkSafe's tools to get rid of unfunded liabilities. That's got to change today. So I think exactly, you know, I mean, over the years, similar stories uh, that worker side of the contract isn't being lived up to. And I, I totally agree with you. It's actually, That's in my I, opinion, WorkSafe BC is like a, a high class club where money is thrown around in between each other and not paid out to any injured workers. When you got a caseworker making medical decisions over yeah. and above a surgeon, yeah. 
that led to my disability, there's something wrong. And not just something wrong with our government, there's something wrong with the whole system across Canada. Yeah. But at least in BC, we're going to fix that. Yeah. And lead the way across Canada. Uh, yeah. Mr. Baines, uh, Joss Carnson Gill, President, CEO of BC Human Rights Organization. I'm sure uh, you do have quite a bit of information about what we're discussing. Now, obviously, before you are victims of the abuse of what WorkSafe BC is doing to them, uh, you yourself are also saying you are quite aware of what the treatment is that WorkSafe BC is doing to people. Well, our investigations in the last four years have actually confirmed that we have doctors who are on WorkSafe BC's uh, payroll who are intentionally making uh, incorrect and uh, misleading diagnoses on injured workers. We have case managers who are intentionally abusing uh, missing policy 9620, which we have talked to in many cases. Uh, we actually have an update regarding that. Uh, you know that is now before the Supreme Court of Canada. Uh, October 19th, we were actually given a file number by the Supreme Court of Canada, meaning that apparently their judges will be reading the application. Uh, number one, why it's there is that both levels of court, like I said before, in, Bur in British Columbia failed to establish the status of policy 9620. That is an issue that affects the public. The second is that they did not read the medical legal report on my file. How they did that is actually one of their Works APC's legal services department. They are also board members across all the governing bodies that govern lawyers. So there's a major conflict of interest issue there. Uh, Joanna has brought up that there's the um, accident fund money is being invested in the Toronto Stock Exchange. And then is that going into number companies and being uh, funneled out of the accident fund and going towards uh, Works APC's, uh, Works APC's executives? I mean, there's going to be a money trail. I mean, all these issues that we're talking, these are real issues, and we've been talking for too long, and I feel the time for talking is done. We need action. I am suffering. These people are suffering. People shouldn't be losing their houses. And, I mean, pardon my, you know, lack of understanding of the system, but, I mean, at some point, you are the person who actually has the power to order a public inquiry, which would help every single one of our cases. I mean, a public inquiry would give us an opportunity to say what we went through. And then somebody would have an opportunity to document the damage. Every single one of these people were actually contributing members of society, paying their taxes, doing their work, taking care of their families, and raising, and, and raising a healthy community. Today, each and every one of them are suffering from... Uh, exposing to uh, exposure to pain and suffering, which has been prolonged because they intentionally do not give us the treatment that we need. And as as the labor minister, I mean, you're after 16 years, we have finally got this opportunity to do something about this. And this is why we need urgent action now. I mean, if you cannot do this on your own, reach out to your leadership, uh, reach out to the attorney general's office, reach out to the premier's office, and ask them join us because. Since the last few weeks, we have been getting people calling off off the hook all across British Columbia, and every single one of their stories is exactly the same. Every single story that policy missing that missing policy applies. What are we waiting for? If I do a crime, I will be held responsible. Why are these criminals not being held responsible? And at the end of the day, Works APC is under your responsibility. Now, do you also choose the board? or who chooses the board, you do? Then here's a quick recommend, get rid of that board. They've done nothing. I have contacted every single one of those people personally and told them about this and they did nothing. Even the ones who were supposed to represent the public. So the first time that you have an opportunity, the new government has an opportunity to do a public inquiry, which people have signed a petition. They're ready to do this. We need you to grant this issue. I mean, if you don't grab this for us, we could sit here and talk forever. But every day that we do not get a public inquiry issued, it gives WorkSafe BC, the people that are involved, a day to remove or tamper with evidence. This is going to come back and become even more criminal. I mean, like I said, this has all been well documented. I mean, you were also at that meeting last year, June 22, 2016, with Todd McDonald, uh, Vice President of Claims. Yeah, well, he had your issue and Mr. Sandridge. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. and and you remember that whole audio recording. I mean, you you know what happened there. It was a blatant injustice to the public. 
These people do not care about the people. They are stealing from the accident fund, and it's time that the government calls them out on it and holds them for their actions. That's all we're asking. If any of us were doing any kind of work and we were either not doing our job to the, or to our, to the expectations that are expected, or if we were not able to do our job, we would be fired. Why are they, in, why are they still in these positions? Diana Miles is aware of this issue. Every th since they've been aware of the policy 9620 issue in December 2015, I brought it to her attention. Now, when a CEO gets a CEO president of WorkSafe BC gets a letter, and I got a copy of the letter, I can give it to you. They get a letter telling that there's hundreds and thousands of people that are suffering because of this missing policy. It's supposed to be her best interest to look out to see what's going on, is it not? But instead, she, she dragged her feet, dragged her feet, and let information gather up, and they changed the information on us. And you know what, at the end of the day, the fact of the matter still remains, is that as the Minister of Labour, that is your responsibility, and we are coming here to plead our cases that by violating, intentionally violating the Workers' Compensation Act, the act that they're supposed to uphold, which under that act, they're supposed to give us treatment, uh, medical investigations, uh, any other uh, issues that there, and wage loss benefits. They have cut each and every one of us off. That's a violation of their own act. So then if they're violating their own act, how are we able to get them, how are they still protected and still have a job? I mean, these are issues, like I said, I mean, from the, from the, just from the uh, outer, outer cell, you th it seems like it's just a few injured workers who are still upset that their cases are not being handled. They, we have evidence that shows that they even have officers working inside the BC Ombudsman's office who are actually intercepting complaints and turning them around and making sure they don't get registered. This is a fact. Corruption. And That's fire. corruption. Another fact too, I went to Mike Farnsworth's office with my medical MRI and my x-ray had him send it to WorkSafe to make sure it went onto my file. He did so. Mm -hmm. A couple of months later, WorkSafe had no record of anything on yeah. my file. Well, remember when we went to, so remember I came here Michael because of Marvin Hunt incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marvin Hunt still, he, he's a, he's a he, lucky for him, he's also MLA in my area. I am going to go find out from him who, what was going through his mind when he asked me that time about if I was planning on committing suicide. That is the most stupidest thing I have ever heard anybody say, especially when you're supposed to think that this is an educated fool that is supposed to be representing the public. We are the public, and this is unacceptable. Again. They elected him again. Oh, well, they did. Oh, yeah. So that's because people are misled. Yeah. But like I said, I mean, in our case so, here. So, so that oh, so, so oh, I know sorry. that I, I, could, I go to another meeting. I know there are at least 30 people waiting for me there. So if I could uh, respond. Yeah. Well, well, the simple response, will you support our request for a public inquiry or not? Right now, I'm open to everything. Thank you. So okay. that's a yes, then? No, it's not a yes. Oh, then that's... Uh, Mr. Baines, this is the thing, and then you're going to say that I am disrespectful or I am rude, but I feel that as a Minister of Labor and having the authority and power in your hand, had somebody brought me this information, I would have promised them that a public inquiry will be forthcoming, but when? We cannot say. Every day that you do not order this public inquiry, understand this, that you are letting some people destroy or tamper evidence. And other people die. because And people, people are dying people daily, sir. So, 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 so that we understand, we had this discussion before. Yes. You want things changed today. Every Absolutely. Every time you come here, right? And 16 a years, of, I know, 16 yeah. years yeah. of mess yeah. that they have left in my yeah. hand. Then open a public inquiry. Will it come out? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do, I'm, going, I'm listening. I didn't say no to it. I'm listening, and I'm listening to other people as well. Yes. And when I'm going to gather all that information, then I will make a decision what will solve all of our problems. Yeah. You have one approach. Others have different approaches. Yeah. Uh, Same people, yeah. injured people. The difference is between you and I is that I am actually trying to do something to help these people get people, justice. Yes, there are other people who are trying to do something. And different. what are you doing, yeah. sir? So I am collecting that information. We're giving so you the information. Do, do the just, information. Let me finish now. Yeah. You had your say. Yes. You've had many, many, many years to do something about this too, sir. Yes, again, you don't understand. I'm sorry to say that. No, I think yes. that you Listen don't to understand. Me. Listen to me for a second. Yes. I don't want to get into this argument. 16 years, 12 years I was in opposition. Yes. You came into this office, 
You told me that I have powers to change as an opposition MLA. No. I told you your Correction, wrong. I, I said that. that you have a voice. I have you voice. can raise no, that you voice. Said, in you, said, the... you said it's a cop out when I said I'm opposition. One minute. This meeting can be dismissed yes. because, yes. you know, Mr. Yes, Baines, sure. I know One that you are not here to help us. A public inquiry is all we want, and if you cannot do it, we will continue I'm not asking going to the government. At, at every no, meeting. I'm, I'm not going to listen to this. This is the same message we've heard last week. Will you book us an appointment for one hour next Friday? I'll see. Can you please do that for us? What do you need? Uh, you have two meetings already with me on the same issue. And, and what is the result? Right. And what so is the result, what is Mr. Baines? Third meeting is going to do? What is the result, Mr. Tell Baines? me what the third meeting is going to do. Well, I mean, we're hoping at some point I you understand convinced. what the injured me, worker, me, okay, our people are doing. Let me talk to these folks for a second. Yeah, okay, and yeah. you're going to tell them the same thing you told me, everybody. Well, I, you don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, he's got an appointment coming up. Oh, yeah. He does, and oh, I, this is on the line. Yeah, so, so that you know, I am on your side. Yes. Okay? Keep in mind, though, these are the numbers of suicides from WorkSafe PC. I know, I know. You know, last year six you don't people need killed to, themselves. Yeah, I know, brother. So every day that you don't yeah. do a public inquiry, yeah. everyone that kills themselves because of work safe yeah, BC yeah. is on my politicians' yeah. look, heads. Look, I will. Every I'm one of saying, them. I'm taking suggestions. Public inquiry is one suggestion coming out of this group. There's no doubt about that. Okay, but I'm on your side, and I put convincing part is over, and I'm already convinced that we need to change this thing. That is not serving the injured workers. So you should I'm say, convinced. I am absolutely going to open a public inquiry into the inquiry. murders I'm caused by WorkSafe BC. Like I said, inquiry is one of the things I'm looking at. I can't make those decisions every time I meet with everybody and say, yes, I will do that. Ten years I've been going to Mike Farnsworth's office every time, I'm not in power, I'm not in power, I'm not in power. Now they're in power, he's, and all they can say is, oh, well, we're going to try and do something about... 13 vote. weeks, brother. Yeah. Power. yeah, the day you right. took power and you guys time. know that people are killing themselves because yeah, of the atrocities carried out by WorkSafe yeah. BC, we still have to you work should have done something from that day. We still have to work within the law, as you know, within the constitution of this country. Yes. We're not dictators. We cannot change overnight. We have to go through the process because if we don't follow the proper process, court's going to throw that out and we will be right in the beginning where we started from. We understand so that, right. well, like, whatever the, their protocol, now they're breaking their own protocol. Yeah. What are you going to do for them? I have already sent messages to them. Like I said, I start with the leadership, right? You can't simply go in there and say, you, 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 and everyone is gone. Yes. You can't do that. You have to follow the process. And, it, you know, first of all, I'm going to tell them, I told them that this is what I expect from them. Okay? And then I will see what they're doing. Then yes, you got to take a look at the leadership because that's how you change the culture of the whole operation. Because sir, sir. making laws is one thing; yeah. how you apply is another. That's where people come in. How, how long do you need to decide to um, uh, order a public inquiry? Can so you, can you, the, can you let us know just on because that's yeah. that's what we're demanding. Right? We know the legislature. And also, changes. I need to know uh, yeah. what are we inquiring, right? I mean, you need to have a a delve into a little more. The criminal actions. Criminal actions. Yeah, just the criminal actions. Criminal actions. Thing, right? yeah, exactly. Denying of the laws, not following the laws. Yeah. Bullied out of my job and bullied worse yeah. by work safety. Yeah. yeah. But to, to See, I, I, you know what? I, 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 I'm with you. People get injured physically at a workplace, and then their frustration caused them a further problems. You know, because now they're depressed. The poverty, you know, the stress-related heart right. attacks, and everything else that work safe causes is far you. worse than the work safe injury is. So all I ask you, give me some time. I'm moving very fast, actually. Thank you. Sir. I can't make public announcements every time because yes. it requires me to, you know. You have a party, you have to go with your party. Yeah. Yes, and so, it's and it's this is a huge thing, and it can't be decided like that. Yeah. Yes. Well, Thank just you. the public inquiry, though, just... A, a ballpark deadline, okay? We want to put hope out there because that will keep people alive, okay? We want the suicide system. I'm now. looking at the result, um, right? What what result are we looking at, right? So is it a public inquiry? I will That's look at that. Word. Is it yeah. something else that will do the result? A public inquiry is a broad spectrum that covers everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but you've ordered a review, so that is it's going to be... Which is very important. It could be the same thing. You could call it inquiry, review, yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. That's right. I'm looking at the end result that the workers are started to treat as human beings. How long does it take? 
Look, look, brother, uh, 16 years, how long can you change it overnight? You know, no, not, no, not the legislation. That's going to take a while. We all understand yeah, 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 that. Yeah, yeah. We just want... Yeah, but, uh, but the inquiry again, Joanne, is somebody goes and do the inquiry. Yes, they could, they could talk about their behavior. That's one thing. But if they made those decisions based on the act, which act actually was designed by politicians, and the inquiry could come back and say, well, you know, they follow the act. Okay. Well, uh, right? anything I report. Yeah, yeah, I know, but the whole part you can look at, right? Those, those are the parts that you can look at. One thing I'd like to add, as someone who's not an injured worker, is that the family of injured workers yes. are just as effective. Just as bad yes. as I know. Yeah, it ruined my family. Can, uh, I have one question. Can you order to the WorkSafe DC and uh, these guys, are they are injured and they can start doing the treatment? The treatment, did they injure when they are the treatment through the the treatment, yes. I mean, you know, tell me if anybody is not being, you know, not not getting the treatment, then we could follow individual claims, right? We could follow individual claims. I had my caseworker phone me the day after I sent my suicide home to the legislature, phone me, laughed at me on the phone while they denied batteries for my TENS machine, and then she yelled at me, stop calling me, and hung up the phone. He's got the next day, I get a letter saying I appreciate or I appreciate be terminated. All I'm going to say, thank you for coming. Yes. These are the stories I need so that when I make the changes, that they heard you and that we put, put some you know, solutions to that. Okay. It's okay. Thanks so a lot. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, so you for much. your time, Harry. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you for okay. your time. Thank you. Thank you. How busy you were. Thank you. Thank you. What, what about doctors, liars? Yes. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. I heard Public inquiry into all the yeah. criminal activities. What's that? Yeah. 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 Yeah